we used GPS to map it as well so that yeah. we could, could kind of combine what we knew we could see on the ground with what could be seen in the aerial photography to come up with an idea of what it looked like. Um, and yeah, there's a, a major, major wide thing that goes across, it heads toward Chetra Kettle that looks like, you know, a causeway. Uh, one that goes the other way across the canyon from a ramp just north of Chetra Kettle Field to the stairway on the south side of the canyon there. So that was a big part of it. Um, let's see, we, we worked on remapping Chetro Kettle and, and we got a map that was sort of okay. Uh, and then when I had to do the models for the museum, I went back out and redid it. And it, it's a case that they're kind of like King Kletso here. There's three published maps, only in this case, then all three published maps are wrong here. There, they're all, all wrong, but all part right. So there's portions of it that are right in all three, but portions of it that are wrong. Because part of it, there's no standing masonry. So you got to go out and try and figure out where the walls were. And I did a, a what? Three or three or four different times out mapping the walls, and the one the walls that were there the most I kept, and by georeferencing the other maps and getting them together, you could see, oh yeah, there's there's this section that's this way and this section that comes off a little bit, so we were able to get that later. But we did that, um, and then the stuff to this over here. Well, we we remapped a bunch of things, but the the big thing was the. The, the pyramids or the knoll pueblos. And when we were going up to them, it, you know, we were standing there on the canyon floor and we were looking up at them going, ah, little great houses, because they have that same profile of a small great house outside the canyon. And we got up on them and, and uh, there was much you know, head scratching and wondering what we were looking at because uh, a little great house, because of the massive architecture, when it falls down, it's a boulder field basically. Or, rock field and you can't walk around on them. These, you don't have that problem. And we were wondering what it was and we had an, an idea. They were probably like features we'd seen outside the canyon. You know, of, uh, let's see, Peggy's Pueblo, which is down by Vanderwagen, is called the Great House. It's one of these things that, it's a false, it's a, it's a shaped hill or a false relief. So you've got architecture around the shaped part of the hill and then a little bit going above it to make it look like a great house even though it's not because you could never you know it doesn't function you can't get in there and there's three others we know of and we'd seen them outside the canyon but not inside the canyon so we weren't we weren't ready to say it was that uh, so we went in with the gps mapped all the walls then went back and did topo mapping of the mound so that we could put the walls on the mound and begin to see what the form was and then start to extrude the walls. In this case, it was a conservative amount, nothing over a meter uh, extruded and take away the dirt that would have, you know, the deposition and, and wall fall over the years. And lo and behold, yeah, they look like little pyramids sitting there. So that, that was kind of one of the big things. The roads coming from those to Pueblo Benito. The, yeah, the other interesting thing was that we, we'd mapped the roads coming out of these structures. They got roads coming out of them. And both of them had roads headed over toward Pueblo Benito. So after I got them done, I extended those roads out to see where they might go. And sure enough, they went right in front of Pueblo Benito. But one of them parallels the east-west wall and the other one parallels the slightly off east-west wall. So it, it was a case of we weren't look, going from Pueblo Benito to those, we were just seeing where they went to and boom, they fit. So, so those, those, wall, those buildings are dedicated to the alignments of the front wall at Pueblo Benito, which is kind of interesting too.